Despite a record amount of money being pumped into them, rising costs mean England's schools are feeling the pinch. So when the Education Secretary told the Association of School and College Leaders she was putting more money into selective schools today, she was heckled. Perhaps to save her blushes, TV cameras were not allowed in. But her audience was clearly disappointed. I think we were looking for more concrete solutions to the challenges facing, facing the profession and schools at the moment, particularly around uh, funding and around selection. And I think we, we didn't hear those clear direction coming through. The Association of School and College Leaders say 72% of their members have axed GCSE or vocational courses. 82% are increasing class sizes. 95% have cut back on support services. And 68% have scrapped activities like trips. The Department of Education disputes those figures. Let's take inspiration from the form. But at Gillett School in Henley-on-Thames, where they have to save £80,000 over the next financial year, they are cutting classes like this one in textiles. Next year, the head expects to increase class sizes and is even having to consider losing staff. We've got to the point now where we've really saved everything that we can out of the non-staffing costs. So the areas like premises, IT, curriculum resources, which you can kind of say, well, we'll manage, we'll cope, we won't replace the computers. We've, we've literally taken all we can out of there, um, which means we now have to turn towards staffing. This morning, the Prime Minister's official spokesman said the government was making a £40 billion investment in England's schools, which showed the government's commitment to education spending. But it's just not enough for the teachers. 